This is good on the computer. Namaste. There are few Sahakari Sadhanani, secondary means for Dhyanam. And as I mentioned yesterday, lifestyle is more important than actual Dhyanam. And very aptly described in the sixth chapter, one verse. Bhagavan says, Natya Rashnastu Yogosti Nachaika Ekantam Anashnata Nachati Swapna Shilasya Jagrato Naiva Charjana. He uses a word Yukta Har Viharasya Yukta Swapna Cheshtasu Yukta Swapna Vabodasya Yogo Bhavati Dukkaha. Yuktatvam is necessary. 
Yuktatva means what? A deliberate life. In, in modern words, I say mindfulness in living. Mindfulness means I, I never allow myself to be carried away by certain reactions, certain unconscious, that pattern do not take over me. I, I conduct myself very consciously. That is called yuktattva. More often than not, emotions hijack our wisdom. More often than not, our samskaras take over our conduct, our, our responses. That is called reaction. Not to live a reactive life is yuktattva. Very beautifully, it was said, it is said in North, in Hindi, sadhana kya hai? Dhyan ki sadhana kya hai? Ule jivan mein saavdhani hi sadhana hai. Apne vehwar mein saavdhani hi sadhana hai. So that one, one sect of Buddhism called Zen Buddhism, it emphasizes lot on Saudhani. They say you should be so conscious, you should be so mindful of what all you do every moment that when you pick up a cup, you should be careful that I have picked up that this way and I am taking this cup of tea like this. They want you to be conscious of smallest or insignificant action of yours. In a way, it's good, Savdhani, that you become conscious of those activities. But that is not important. <laughs> about important, it is good to begin with that you are conscious about your physical activities. One should be conscious about one's mental activity. Ultimately, one should go there. You know, usually people have a complaint. Swamiji, I cannot meditate. <laughs> Swamiji, when I do japa, mind wonders. <laughs> that statement is wrong. When I do japa, mind wonders is wrong. When you do japa, you discover that mind is wandering. It is not that time it wonders. It is a habit. Jumping from one topic to another, lustless movement of the mind is discovered in japa. That's a habit. We don't pay attention to my own mind. We are very conscious, especially Indian society, what others will think about me, <laughs> how others look at me. But important is what my mind thinks about myself, <laughs> how I conduct. So that alertness about our reactions, alertness about our responses day to day, is more important sadhana than actually doing meditation. And to discipline the mind, they start with yama niyama. Yama niyama, the first two angas of yoga is yama and niyama. Ahimsa, satya, asteya, brahmacharya, aparigraha. What are niyamas? Shauja Santosha Tapaswadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani Niyamaha. What are these Yamas? Ahimsa, Satya, Asteya, Brahmacharya, Aparigraha. You know what it is? Satya. It is beautifully defined in this Taitriya Bhashya. The famous statement Satyam Vada. Dharmam chara, 
you don't need to speak truth anruta varjina varjitam yathartha bhashanam satyam you stop speaking untruth it is like our modi ji's swachhata abhiyan cleanliness drive you don't have to do cleanliness you stop doing uncleanliness <laughs> that is the drive habitually we tend to put the things anywhere everywhere in the home disorder throw it here throw it here i mean hurry etc that's a discipline you put on yourself that i will put the things in order similarly all these five ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya aparigraha these are natural tendencies of ahankara to be ahimsaka to be untruthful to be indulge you know to indulge in the pleasures to steal somebody's we don't steal the vastu we steal the credit i did it and parigraha natural tendency to collect the things things have habit of getting collected in the home that's why they have garage sale <laughs> and that's why we had this diwali i remember in my childhood every diwali mother will clean the entire house and throw away the things those things which we only collected ourselves <laughs> all that is to discipline the mind so you cannot neglect this yama niyamas they are the foundation for dhyana yama niyamas because then you become alert conscious just simple i will not hurt anybody that that makes you very conscious about your speech physically we don't hurt in this modern civilized society but not only verbally we tend to hurt people emotionally mentally therefore we have a prayer daily prayer sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve it is a viprita bhavana sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu including myself मा कश्चि दुख भाग भवे सो यम नियम आज वेन यू स्पीक ट्रूथ यू बिकम एलर्ट आई डू कंडक्ट दिस यूज टू कंडक्ट दिस प्रोग्राम्स फॉर चिल्ड्रेन इन वन ऑफ वी यूज टू टीच दिस आई ऑफन टोल आई ऑफन यूज टू टेल वट इज द डिसिप्लिन ऑफ स्पीच विच इज इंटरट्वाइंड इन अवर कल्चर we have value for maunam people take vow to keep quiet on certain days or at least some hours gandhi ji used to do every day during prayer time and after before half an hour maunam whether you have maunam or not just remember this sutra your speech should be the finished product of your thinking not the raw material for thinking which usually is having said something we tend to justify like our indian ministers i didn't mean to say that i didn't say that it is a video <laughs> my speech has been misreported it is not true a typical example and someone says something to somebody it is hurt argument especially between the partners and 3 4 days they don't speak and all that and then truth comes then they say i am sorry i i didn't mean that <laughs> i told you something you are idiot or whatever but i didn't mean that no that's a wrong statement when you said you meant it now you don't mean 
<laughs> Understand the difference? Now the sense has prevailed. Better sense. The right word should be, I don't mean now. At that moment of impulse, I meant it. <laughs> that is what speech is raw material for thinking. I didn't mean that. One thing, I don't want to get into details, but why I brought this, what, what inspired me the most, few of the gunas of Pujya Swamiji, and I have been disciplining myself. It, it's really has gone deep into my psyche and the respect I carried for his certain virtues. Pujya Swamiji has never said sorry to anybody in his life. Not out of arrogance, I am guru, How? why should I say sorry? Never. Never uttered a word or conducted himself whereby someone is hurt. We cannot manage a family of four or six or eight. The two children are living separate. The course that we had, you know, all solidified egos <laughs> used to take young men and women. Those who had have a good job, economically settled people. Means in Gujarati, we say, "Na, siro khawa shravak na thaya, ane drash khati settle na thaya." It is not like that, Jekyll. So they mean it. They have understood Pariksha Loka and they have come to study. And all lived in one campus as a family. Sixty, if I, I don't like this word American, sixty guys. They always say guys, you know. <laughs> I don't understand. Children used to say, children tell that. Some hey, dad, you guys are going for a class? As though I'm a guy. <laughs> <laughs> it somehow doesn't work with me. But these modern boys and girls tell these you guys. 60 guys, 60 plus guys, and some grahasthas, all with diverse background. And Westerners also, French and Mauritian and then American and African and all Tamil Nadu and Gujarat and everything. But never. Never had to say, never uttered a single word to anybody. You know that, inter which reflected, got reflected in his live interview. I am sure some of you might have heard this. On this millennium year, he was on a live TV show, Pujya Swamiji. Interviewer was obviously hostile. Those days, Swami is coming to US, etc. Few questions, I will not get into that detail, but one of the things was, what's your take on Gandhiji? Swamiji said, I respect him. We follow him. Made him commit all this because he said, we sannyasa is a war for ahimsa and Gandhiji was committed to ahimsa, therefore he was mahatma, blah, blah, blah. Gujarati went, bakri dabba magai. Then he made, made sure that Swam, Pujya Swamiji commits that Gandhiji is most respectable and I follow him and blah, blah, blah. Then he says, there is a statement of Gandhiji. If someone gives me one on one chick slap, I will give him the second. What is your take on it? <laughs> Swamiji says, yes, I agree. You would have given one <laughs> right there to test. And if I didn't agree, you would have said, all this you said, I, I, I respect him and I follow him. That becomes useless. You know what reply came? Swamiji said, listen, certainly I will give him the second, but I will make sure that I don't get the first one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he conducted his life, discipline. So, all, remember all the values in 
yogic terminology yama niyamas are meant to discipline the mind. It may appear that they are physical and some of them say you should not inflict the body, suppression and all that. No, it is an aid for meditation. So, Yama Niyamas helps you to grow out of natural tendencies of ahankara. To speak untruth, to hurt somebody, to aggrandize all our natural tendencies to ahankara. That you grow out of that. So, lifestyle of values are important. These are all supportive means. Another one, as I said, time is important because of the mental clock. Place is also important. You do at a fixed time, at a fixed place. And then there are certain instructions regarding how to sit. Simple thing. They and what is common in all these meditations? Whether this meditation is for Antakarna Shuddhi or Nididhyasanam or these modern meditations for Kundalini or thoughtlessness or mindfulness, all that, they all begin with relaxing the body. You have to relax yourself. Then, when you relax, <laughs> we only know one thing when you are relaxed, you sleep. That is a precondition for sleep. Therefore, they say sit straight. Shuchau deshe pratishthapya sthiramasana matmanaha nati ucham nati nicham chailajina kushottaram tatraikagram manakrutva na kinchida vichintet etc. Shlokas are there. Sitting straight avoids slumber. Because you are thrown back to yourself. That is what we do before we sleep. We stop all the worry and thoughts and no, let me be with myself. And that is a moment where you can sleep to sleep. <laughs> so they insist you should sit straight. It is not necessary that you should have Padmasana, <laughs> that you should have Sukhasana. The definition of asana in Patanjali Sutra is Thiram Sukham Asana. The seat should be firm and Sukham. Why Sukham? None of the limbs or any kind of discomfort at physical level will take away your focus from the object of meditation. You will be more concentrating on the discomfort rather than meditation. So it is should be sukham. So you can do it on a chair, but never do lying on a bed <laughs> because to getting into samadhi chances are more. <laughs> so <laughs> see, when you do sleeping, so this is sitting and don't go by this timing. Brahma murta is the best time for meditation. It is true, some kala is sattvic kala, some is rajasic kala, some is tamasic kala. Therefore, it was said, but with the advent of technology, lifestyle has changed. Especially discovery of electricity and discovery of electronic and social media our day does not end at sunset, <laughs> it ends at midnight, most of the part. I have seen village life. By evening 6.37, they have dinner and they go to sleep by 8.39. So, Brahma Murata is 4 o'clock. But for you people, <laughs> I mean you guys <laughs> who sleep <laughs> who sleep at 11 and 12, Brahma Murta is 8 o'clock. Okay, just be easy. <laughs> that sleep deficiency 
hampers the meditation. So, if possible, it is always good to sleep early and get up in the early morning because that is a sattvika kala. Midnight time is a pishacha kala. There is big discussion and mention in Mahabharata. We will not get into that discussion now. But these are all sahayakari sadhana. Exactly like to a student, you may provide separate room, study table, all interior, library, etc. But important is the fellow should be studious. In our country, there are so many leaders who studied under street light and got a gold medal. These are all secondary means, where to sit, how to sit, when to meditate, etc. Secondary. Primary is what I said, you should be a meditative person. Who is meditative person? Long discussion. Yogi Yunjita Satatam Atmanam Rahasistit etc. is there in the sixth chapter. But basically, you can say this relatively free from holes of likes and dislikes. Relatively free from self complaints. No beating the chest. No brooding over the past. No restlessness or anxiety about my future and etc. As they say, you know, American. Cool. They swallow L. Be cool person. Then that meditation works. To begin with, the relaxation exercise can be looked upon as Vedantic meditation also. What we do, I am sure you must have had few sessions. You observe each limb of the body and give an auto suggestion to relax, to relax. In the process, you learn I am not the body. So, mano buddhi ahankara chittani naham nacha srotra jivve nacha grana netra. That second line becomes a nididhyasanam for, for you when you start relaxing yourself physically. This is necessary to know, to own up, I am not the body. But that is not the ultimate thing. That is not Vedanta in a way. Ramana Maharshi discovered that before going to, before going to Thiruvannamalai. The, the, his life story is such that somebody, he was hardly 12 or 13, and some relative died. And they asked children, okay, what is death? Obviously, parents also didn't know. Or maybe knowing, but they didn't know how to explain to children <laughs> at, at of this age. Or maybe okay, they didn't want to explain. Whatever may be, but the best response in India, when you don't want to reply, use authority. <laughs> hey, shut up. Mind your children, you don't need to eh? go. So they didn't give the answer. When all those rituals were over, those children, Venkata, his name was Venkat Raman, he and their friend discovered a new game. What is a game? Dying. <laughs> they inferred, looking at the dead body, that dead person is the one who doesn't respond to the world outside. Any stimuli from the external world is not responded. They call, they cry, and then, then they also this fellow just doesn't respond. So they started playing. Who continues, I mean, who remains dead for a longer time has won the game. So just lie still. <laughs> And other friends try to disturb like those Queen's guards in London, you know, you go there, they just look at you like this. <laughs> you make all faces, they don't move at all, they don't blink at all. 
they started playing this and in this game ramana was always winner <laughs> in the process he discovered i am not the body you can but then we had, this is when you relax the body sometimes you must be wondering why every swami starts meditation with relaxing the body <laughs> i know this but when you do that it becomes a nididhyasanam for you to say na ham deha na ham indriyani so relaxation is a first step in every meditation that's a practice you have to do that daily and the second step or second technique is pranayama now please understand the role of pranayama already nine we'll talk about tomorrow okay role of pranayama <laughs> शो मित्र शंभरुण शो भवत्मा शन्न इंद्रो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वाये प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी तमे प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या ऋत वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवतु मं अवतु वक्ता ओ शाति 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 ओ सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीकवाहे तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मिद्विषावहे शाति 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 ओ नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या कर्तृभ्यो वंशर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवरहित प्रज्ञान घन प्रत्यगर्थो ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मवाहमस्मी शाति 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 श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्र भाष्यकृत वंदे भगवतुनपुन ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्यादेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम अज्ञानतिरांद से ज्ञाजनशलाकया चक्षुन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम पेज फोर ब्रह्म विदा आपनोति परम तदेशाभ्युक्ता सत्यम ज्ञानमनंत यो वेद निहित गुहायाँ पर व्योम सोष्णु ते सर्वान् का सह ब्रह्मण विपश्चिते रिपीट वाइस ओके अगेन 
ब्रह्म विदा आप नोति परम तदेशाभ्युक्ता सत्यम ज्ञानमनंत ब्रह्म यो वेद निहित गुहायाम परमे व्योमन सो वेद निहित गुहायाम परमे सो ओष्णुते सर्वान कामा सह ब्रह्मण पश्चिते भाष्य ब्रह्मवित ब्रह्मेती वक्ष्यमाण लक्षण बृहत्तम ब्रह्म तद्वेती विजानाती ब्रह्मवित आपनोति प्राप्नोति परम निरतिशय तदेव ब्रह्म परम नहीं अन्यस्य विज्ञानात् अन्यस्य प्राप्ति ही स्पष्ट च श्रुतर ब्रह्म प्राप्ति दर्श ब्रह्म विद दर्शयति सयो हवै तत्परम ब्रह्म भेद इत्यादि जस्ट फर्स्ट रुचा ब्रह्मवित आप नोति परम ब्रह्मवित नोवर ऑफ ब्रह्मन व्हाट इज ब्रह्मन we saw yesterday bruhattamatvat brahman that which is limitless that which is infinite that which is advitiyam or you can say niratishayam that which is incomparable that is brahman the limitless has to be advitiya there cannot be to infinity infinity plus infinity is always infinity so brahman means anantam uncomparable that beyond which there is nothing nothing superior to it nothing subtler to it nothing grosser to it that is brahman now brahma vit the knower of brahman apnoti gains param the knower of brahman gains limitlessness param means yesterday i said desha kala vastu paricheda shunyam that which is unconditioned by not limited in time space and objectivity that means limitless so apnoti prapnoti param he gains param what is param niratishayam niratishayam there is nothing superior that means limitless there is nothing more than that that means infinity now the question comes knowing something how you gain something 
generally knowledge and prapti has a vyavadhana intermediacy of karma say you come to know like typical example of cooking you know how to cook this item but that to cook that particular to get that particular dish you have to cook there is a vyavadhana intermediacy of karma so gnana and prapti is connected by karma like you come to know there is alaska <laughs> and nowadays you can see on net but you don't reach alaska <laughs> you may feel it is good looking at the pictures and videos but to have anubhava you have to go there karma is necessary every prapti necessitates karma here he says and secondly these are two words the purva paksha says the fellow knows brahman and how come he gains param knowing one thing how can you attain something else first of all by by gnanena prapti hi na sambhavati so many things we know but we have to work for it to gain that merely by knowledge you don't get it so gnane na prapti hi na sambhavati sambhavati yadi chet brahma gnane na katham param prapti brahma kinchi danya danya dasti param api kinchi danya dasti by knowing you don't get and if at all you get how come knowing brahman i get param look at this by knowledge you can never gain anything nor you can lose something knowledge cannot produce anything and by knowledge you cannot lose anything only one thing you can get by knowledge and only one thing you lose you miss by knowledge what you lose ignorance <laughs> you lose only ignorance nothing knowledge cannot do anything knowledge cannot produce anything if knowledge were to produce we don't require technology <laughs> all scientific researches are there but all the gadgets have come because of technology after doing something otherwise research should have produced the vastu you know and the thing is produced and the, the greatest relief should be the for the women you read the book and know cooking items you finished you don't have to work to cook and get all the things from the mall and then do all kinds of things to cook it's a labor and that's why i had heard way back in 16 you know couple of my students children are in new york and i was in new jersey and i had seen them growing up and so many they come to our place they are married and come to our place and i said i am coming i'll come there so we it happened to be the time was that it obviously when you go to manhattan and all places it takes one two hours so as a caution both of them told by the way swami ji we don't cook at all huh? so be ready for mcdonalds <laughs> 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 we don't cook they will pride that we don't have a kitchen our condo doesn't have a kitchen everybody would have said they said this had knowledge produced the food karma vyavadhana is there when can knowledge produce something when can you gain something by knowledge only you know swarga vidya that nachiketa agni but you don't go to heaven you have to perform by knowledge something is gained only when that vastu was already gained so this sentence is contradictory brahmavit apnoti param 
forget about param apnoti means gains now when you say brahman brahman is limitless if it is limitless there is nothing to be gained <laughs> one thing and how come i gain something by knowledge only because that param limitlessness is my swarupa brahman is my swarupa it is exactly like our good old story of 10th man 10th boy dasham or nashta the 10th is lost i think you know the story all of you know the 10th man story yeah but one thing you should know okay why let me tell you this though you know you should know <laughs> they got these boys you know they went for a picnic and the, the the leader said the 10th is lost so they were obviously panic and anxiety and stress and looked around and couldn't find and met somehow met some guru some swami there in hurt in those days see this is also we should feel proud about this western narrative they have created the feeling what a respect we had for women nowadays is patriarchy and because of those eight centuries of slavery things have been come little perverted children were known by mother rather than father arjuna is referred even in mahabharata more as kaunteya rather than pandava this our tirupati suprabhatam balaji the shloka first line kausalya suprajarama purva sandhya pravartate that chant like this otashta otashta sar dola kartavyam daiva manik he doesn't say dasharatha supraja a good son vardhi son of dasharatha no kausalya suprajarama so mother and before that kala person was known by his guru who are you so they used to identify that we are the shishya of such and such a person now i'll come back to this 10th story what i want you to know never make mistake okay i am emphasizing this point the leader and the guys were asked who are you kasya shishya ha yuyam they said parmanand swamin ha shishya not parmatmanand okay <laughs> my sis how can you be so dumb you are all intelligent <laughs> bal bal baj gaya mai <laughs> parmanand sishya not parmatmanand <laughs> that's all i wanted you to know <laughs> let me come back to this this dashama dashama nashta 10th man was lost then they gained the 10th man by merely upadesha tvam dashamosi because it was already prapta so gnanad eva prapti remember this we have karma orientation so ami ji i have been listening lot vedanta what to do for atma <laughs> and that orientation has pushed some people to do meditation i know you meditate and realize nothing to be done you have to assimilate the knowledge you have to have clarity do mananam about the knowledge and shravan so shuddha purva paksha is nahi anya tadeva brahma param how come brahma vid gains param because brahman is param and that is you therefore he says nahi anyasya vignanat anyasya prapti hi by knowing one thing you don't get something else 
Shruti Vakya is only Brahman and then say gains Param, but Brahman is Param. Therefore, Brahma with Apnoti Param and Bhagavan Bhashyakara quotes a Shruti Vakya from Mundaka Upanishad. Sahavai Tat Paramam Brahma Veda Brahmaiva Bhavati. The one who knows Brahma, Saha Tat Paramam Brahma Veda, one who knows that Brahma, Havai, that are indeclinable words, that that person indeed becomes Brahman. See, this is the Mariyada of language. You are trying to communicate that which is beyond Shabdas, through Shabda. There is no becoming also. <laughs> No praptihi and no becoming. It was not that he was a Brahman before <laughs> and having known Brahman, he became Brahman. Exactly like it was not that he was Navamaha and having known Tvam Dashmosi, he became tenth. There is no becoming. But this is a Mariyada, limitations of the language. This is where you have to see the implied meaning. We keep talking about Lakshyarth. Brahma with Apnoti. There is no Prapti also. There is no becoming also. And there is no going also. Yad Gatvan Nivartante. There is no going. That point he clarifies further in next Bhashya. See that. Nanu, page number 5. Nanu, Sarvagatam, Sarvasyacha, Atma Bhutam Brahma, Vakshyati, Ataha, Na apyam aptischa anyasya anyena parichinnasya cha parichinnena drashta aparichinnam sarvatmakam Cha Brahma Ityataha Parichin Navate Anatma Vacha Tasya Aptihi Anupapanna. That the see, I told you, Shravanam is Mananam. In Shastra or in Bhashya, whenever there is Nanu, <laughs> you should know there is a doubt. <laughs> nanu means no, no, no. Hold on, that's Nanu. Okay, this no, no, no English has come from Nanu only. <laughs> this Katakar, you know, there, there is a tendency to prove that everything has come from Sanskrit and our language. So he says. Even our dogs knew English. <laughs> the one Kathakar was telling in Katha, I overheard. He says, when a, in a street, you know, in India we have street dogs. And some other stray dogs comes, they naturally bark. And if that fellow is big, they don't start attacking. They are cautious. So they say, Hurr. that is the English. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> it is who are you? <laughs> it is our dogs know English. <laughs> what a logic. This is called Annamal logic, you know, Swami's language. <laughs> anyway, coming back, Nanu means Bhashyakara himself raises a doubt to clarify certain point. Samshaya Nivrutti. Samshaya Utpatti is done by teacher. And nevrutti also is done by teacher. That is mananam. 
So, Savarnam itself becomes Mananam. What is it says? And especially a doubt, not necessarily you should have doubt. Some other intellect also may raise the doubt. So, this is a doubt which he says. Nanu, he says, Iticha Vakshyati. This is going to be revealed. This is going to be taught. This is what Shruti is to tell. What about Brahma? What are they going to say about Brahma? He says, Brahma, three things. Sarvagatam, Sarvasyacha, Atma Bhut. It is all pervasive and it is a self of all. The Shruti will tell that Brahman is all pervasive, but no, something can be all pervasive, not the self of all. Space is all pervasive, <laughs> but space cannot be the self of all. There are some fellows <laughs> who do not use the brain, there is a space inside, <laughs> but not all Atma. So, it is all pervasive and Sarvatma. Now, if it is all pervasive, where is the question of gaining? Not only all pervasive, it is Atma, it is self of all. Where is the question of gaining? You know, in this architect, they have a word. What is designing a house? They say, is creating the spaces. <laughs> they create space. <laughs> they, so, what they do, they when they build high riser, they just keep building the floor, slab to slab. Then in between they create divisions, walls. So, when you say this is our drawing room, so they, they create that space for sitting, space for dining space for cooking. They are supposed to study. Of course, here you do not have a choice, but in India, they, each house has their own architect. So, they study their psychology, they study their requirement and then design. Space is Sarvagatam. So, at apparently also you can create spaces. It is only apparent creation. There is no creation of space. There was already a space. It is exactly like Gatakash and Mahakash. <laughs> Three apartments on the same floors. You just made a partition wall and said this is one, two and three. But that is there. Anyway, so but at least apparent is possible to have bedroom, apparent drawing room space. But this is Atma. Not only Sarvagatam, but Sarvatma. Where is the question of Apnoti gaining that Vastu? He further questions, Aptischa, that this prapti or gain is possible only on two counts. What? You can gain something, Anyasya Andena. You gain something which you do not have, which is different from you. Secondly, the, the one who wants to gain and that what is to be gained are separate. Therefore, both should be parichin. Only a limited can gain another limited. Otherwise, there is no prapti possible. When you say, I do not have it, that means it is different from you. That means prapti is of something other than myself. That means anatma. Other than myself, the word is not atma, not me. So, three things. Anyasya anyena praptihi. You can gain something other than you. What you can gain has to be anatma. And what you can gain has to be limited. You do not say, I want to gain space. <laughs> it is always there. Where is the question of gaining the space? Because it is there, already there. So, anyasya anyena parichinnasya parichinnena. By a limited, 
another limited is gained by one something other is gained and when you moment you say something other it has to be anatma now when you say brahma with apnoti param so and then you say brahma means limitless there is no question of apnoti that means brahma should be limited and that param also should be limited and brahma and param should be separate and what you gain should be anatma that is a question so for you further clarifies aparichinnam that limitless sarvatmakam cha brahma brahman is limitless and the self of all therefore ityatah parichinnavat anatmavach tasya aptihi anupapanna therefore by like gaining another limited thing by gaining something other than me such gain of the brahman is not tenable is not possible so this prapti shabda is wrong remember i have been telling this through words you are communicating that which is beyond words every word has a limited meaning and your teacher has to use the limited words another thing teacher has to use the known word only if the teacher uses unknown word knowledge doesn't take place exactly if i start teaching in japanese nothing happens you can't understand even if and but also <laughs> or if i say in french you only will understand fos of so of so so all sakaras you know <laughs> you don't understand anything sometimes swami ji used to say that in class sometimes we'll get into and use tamil in some of the brahmacharis we had who were tamilian we used to make sure they don't sit in the front <laughs> if they are sitting in a front three four sentences in tamil will come so we were blank face so we used to tell them you go away <laughs> if he sees you he will be inspired to speak tamil <laughs> so we used to push them away anyway known words see this is how the teaching plays teacher has to use the known words and knock off the known meaning because words are limited known meaning is limited and lead the student to that unknown limitless that is why all this discussion aapti hi the known meaning is this much i gain you gain something mean these three things are implied the gainer and the gained has to be limited the gainer and gained has to be different and the gainer can gain something other than himself or herself it has to be anatma nothing there so aapti is not tenable that clarifies look at the answer just one sentence what is the sentence nayam doshah कथम दर्शन अदर्शन अपेक्षत्वा ब्रह्मण आपती अनाप्यो नाम दोष दर्शना दर्शन अपेक्षण आप्यनाप्यो दिस ऑल द्विवचन आप्ती अनाप्यो अपेक्षवा सो वॉट देर इज नईश दोष देर इज नो डिफेक्ट इन अदर वर्ड इट्स नॉट रॉन्ग इट्स नॉट इम प्रॉपर दिस इज करेक्ट 
वॉट इज करेक्ट दर्शन अदर्शन अपेक्षत्वाद गेनिंग और सीइंग ब्रह्मन नोइंग ब्रह्मन इज गेनिंग एंड नॉट गेनिंग ब्रह्मन इज इन रेफरेंस टू रिकग्निशन ऑफ ब्रह्मन एंड नॉन रिकग्निशन ऑफ ब्रह्मन इन नोइंग एंड नॉट नोइंग इन अदर वर्ड्स if you put it in one word it is from the standpoint of ignorance and knowledge go one step further brahman is all pervasive so there is no question of gaining brahman still the seeker for starts the journey to gain brahman why from ignorance standpoint of view. and then when the ignorance removed it is from the standpoint of the ignorance which he or she had which made him feel or conclude that i don't have brahman from that reference point he or she says now i got the brahman like 10th boy was never lost since it was not lost where is a question of pursuit for gaining the 10th one but this fellow for this person 10th one is lost because of ignorance because of self ignorance and from the standpoint of self ignorance when he discovers that i am the 10th man he or she says oh i got the 10th man dashamasya prapti hi praptasya prapti dashamasya aprapti hi agnana nimitta atvat dashamasya prapti hi api gnana nimitta atvat so gaining brahman is figurative understand from ignorant point of view therefore that stotra says na baddho na mukta i am neither bound nor i am free or liberated because when i thought i am bound i was liberated in other words what is moksha moksha is a discovery that i need not work for moksha <laughs> i need not gain moksha because i am already mukta that discovery is moksha and from the knowledge point of view person can say i am neither bound nor this is purely cognitive remember this knowledge should not change vyavhara <laughs> you have to respect vyavhara is a reality so vyavhara maryada has to be respected guru gives a knowledge atma is sarvatma everything is one one fellow overheard there are three four shishyas guru ji had and one became suddenly wise the guru was parivrajaka so there was a rule ke one disciple will go to village and collect those uh, grains and vegetables and one will cook another will do extra cleaning and lighting the fire and etc so at they ha- halted at the place and guru said come on go to your work the last one had to do these errand jobs washing the clothes of guru and preparing bed and etc etc collecting uh, the wood and lighting the fire and cleaning vessel etc so the one who was supposed to get the food, grains and vegetable went to village and took bhiksha and came 
lunch time passed away and guruji was waiting for lunch no lunch came after some time he inquired what happened that he asked that guy who used to cook didn't you cook yeah, yeah i have not cooked why because the fellow who was supposed to collect the firewoods and light the fire didn't do it is it why i don't know he's sitting guruji went to him hey you didn't collect what collection he dev to cook i am hungry what hungry sarvatma <laughs> na guru na shishya na baddho na mukta guruji was wise gave one stick sadak <laughs> ah Why are you crying? Atma is beyond body. <laughs> Understand? So, vehvar mariyada has to be there. Why I am emphasizing this? When you study certain text, here only the bondage and liberation is dismissed. This is cognitive, not vehvar. Similarly, they dismiss Ishvara also. Is to be understood. Vehvarik satta, you have to accept Ishvara. True, Ishvara is an Atma, <laughs> but at the same time, Ishvara is Atma. Understand? You begin with an Atma Tvam of Ishvara. क्षेत्र चापी मं विद्धि सर्व क्षेत्र अहम आत्मा गुड़ाकेश सर्वूताशय स्थित सर्व चाहम हृदय सन्निविष्ट एक्सेट्रा सो मेनी वर्सेस इट इज टू बी अंडरस्टूड व्यवहार इज अ रियालिटी एज लॉन्ग एज यू आर देर इन द बॉडी दैट मर्यादा हैज टू बी फॉलोड so baddha is not there moksha is not there is a recognition that you say after gaining knowledge it's a discovery of the fact that i was never bound having gained the tenth man that was oh tenth man was never lost but you don't say in the beginning as they say extremes always look alike <laughs> the ignorant one also will say what bondage what moksha <laughs> there is no bondage no moksha and the wise one also will say but if i use this phrase there is hell of a difference this what moksha what badda is out of dullness out of tamas and this is out of knowledge so gaining moksha is or gained moksha is from the standpoint of ignorance and absence of ignorance dar darshana adarshana apekshatvat okay since it is already gained still it becomes to be gained because of ignorance remember all these vakyas in shastra you go yat gatva na nivartante there is no going <laughs> this vaitins interpret you go to goloka saket loka etc then you will never come back because bhagwan is there if it is there then bhagwan becomes parichinna and if you have to go there then they say you know salok ke samip pe saru pe sayuj for mukti is this the first level of mukti is you are resident of vaikuntha got green card american green card <laughs> then samip then you are around white house bhagwan's white house you are nearby then further elevation closer to mukti 
is sarupya, you just look like Bhagavan. Therefore, we hear story, Jai Vijaya, Vat Chaturbhuja, they look like Shankh Chakra Gada Padma Dhari Vishnu. And ultimate mukti is Sayuja, you merge into Bhagavan. Our Hindi movies also show that. I remember childhood. Those days, Bhaktas movies used to come, you know, Mirabai, Surdas, Tulsidas, and they said they died and she physically merged into the body of Bhagavan. If merging is necessary, that means you were away. And if you are away, that means Bhagavan is limited. <laughs> By saying that I have to merge with Bhagavan, you are belittling Bhagavan. <laughs> Sarva Vyapitvam, the status of all pervasiveness doesn't become tenable when you say I am away from. So this apyam is only figurative. Going is only Figurative. Yad gatva nanivarta. Having gone where, you don't come back. <laughs> don't imagine going. <laughs> so, therefore, there is a vakya. Gatyartha dhatavaha gnanartha eva. Any verb implying the movement, implying the motion, it implies nothing but knowledge. Having gone there means having known that. Yad gatva, having gone to Brahman, they don't come back. Means having known I am Brahman, which is birthless, deathless, they are never ever reborn. Okay? So, darshana adarshana apekshatva. This is the limitation of language. Brahma with apnot, you have to say gains, but there is really no gain. That you have to say after gaining, <laughs> not before. <laughs> there is no gain, there is no bondage, there is no mukti, why to work for it? <laughs> that is not the tatpariya. This is apnoti, is from, though it is not tenable, but then. There is no dosha. Seeking, knowing is, seeking is in the sense of knowing. I seek Brahman means I need to know Brahman. I got it Brahman. So there is no antara. There is no distance that you have to travel. If at all there is a distance, it is ignorance distance. You travel in terms of light, travel in terms of knowledge. See, there are three types of travel. You travel in space, which we do. You travel in time, <laughs> aging and all that. The deshataha, kalataha. The third is vastutaha. You travel in becoming. That Katha Upanishad simile, Atmanam Rathinam Viddi Shariram Shariram Turathamevatu. Body is a chariot and the Sharir, the Jivatma is a Swami, etc. What kind of travel we do? We travel in terms of becoming. Becoming in what terms from one janma to other janma? What are the destinations to travel? Traditionally speaking, 84 lakhs of yonis. That's a destination. You keep traveling according to karma and karma phala. Moreover, human being travels daily. There is always a desire to become something. You know, as a child, there was always a desire to become older. I want to grow old. Becoming. Having grown old, I want to become rich, I want to become husband or wife, I want to become CEO, all that is. Owner of a house, owner of a car, I want to become a prestigious person who is who of this town or state or this and that, it goes on. Human journey 
is journey of constant becoming. When you discover Brahman, journey ends because it is journey, rest of the journey is a journey of being what you are. I am Brahman, full stop. There is no becoming. That he further explains. Look at the Bhashya next. Paramarthataha. Page 6. Paramarthataha. Brahma Swarupa Syapi Sataha. Asya Jeevasya. Bhuta Matra Krita. Bahya Parichinna. Anna Mayadi Atma Darshinaha. Tat asakta chetasaha prakrta sankhya puranasya atmanaha avyavahita syapi bahya sankheya vishaya Asakta chittataya Swarupa abhavat Darshana vat Sorry Adarshana vat Paramartha Brahma Swarupa Abhava darshana lakshanaya avidyaya annamayadin bahyan anatmanah atmatvena pratipannatvat annamayadi Anātma Bhyaha Na Anyaha Aham Asmi Iti Abhimanyate Evam Avidyaya Atma Bhūtam Api Brahma Anāp Tamsyat. So, this is the whole paragraph <coughs> is elaboration of this word Darshana Adarshana. The previous sentence. See, he, exp he told in brief Shankaracharya Brahman becomes prapyam, apyam. And it because it is not praptam why darshana adarshana apekshatva from the apeksha from the standpoint of knowledge and ignorance same thing he puts one word he puts in one sentence evam last sentence thus avidyaya because of ignorance atma bhutam api brahma that Brahman which is the very self. When you say very self, it means that which is nitya prapta. One thing you cannot miss is yourself. It is always there. Even to say that I have lost myself, you should be there. <laughs> to say that self is lost, who says? You have to be there. One thing you cannot lose is the self. That means Brahman is nitya praptam api even though it is always gained, always obtained because it is the very self. Avidyaya because of 
इग्नोरेंस ब्रह्म अनाप्तम स्यात बिकॉज ऑफ इग्नोरेंस ब्रह्मन बिकम्स नॉट गेन्ड ब्रह्म गेन्स द स्टेटस ऑफ समथिंग टू बी गेन्ड even though it is already gain why because it is the very self that is the reason what is the reason avidya what is avidya how does avidya manifest whole paragraph how it is atma the two word these two things are explained in the whole paragraph parmarthatah ब्रह्मस्वी सत अीव से भूतमात्रकृत बाह्यापरिछिन्न अन्नमयादी आत्मदर्शिन तदाशक्त सेत एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा इज इलाबरेशन ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस सो इग्नरेंस सेल्फ इग्नरेंस गिव्स द स्टेटस टू ब्रह्मन टू बी गेन and removal of self ignorance gives the status to brahman that it is gained so to be gained and gained is only with reference to ignorance and knowledge now then the question comes why ignorance and where from the ignorance came <laughs> there is no answer why ignorance <laughs> some chin man used to say go and ask bhagwan don't ask me i didn't give you <laughs> I, i am not here to give you ignorance i am here to give you knowledge <laughs> take knowledge <laughs> and then he would add if you go and ask him that means by if you go that means you already know by the you know what is ishwara then you will not ask him also <laughs> by the answer go and ask him don't ask me why there is ignorance how there is ignorance no answer therefore it is called maya what is the definition of maya ya ma sa maya ma means not that which is really not there but still there that is maya <coughs> cannot categorize so avidya and he what is the effect of ignorance how does ignorance manifest how do you say there is ignorance see ignorance is sukshma tama the sharira tre viveka sthula sharira then there is sukshma sharira and sukshma sharira comprising of the 17 things पंच ज्ञानेन्द्रिया पंच कर्मेन्द्रिया पंच प्राण मनश्चिका बुद्धिश्च ऑल दीज आर नॉट ग्रॉस यू डोंट सी यू डोंट सी इंद्रिया दीज आर दिस इज नॉट इंद्रिया दिस इज अ गोलक द प्लेस वेर दैट इंद्रिया मेनिफेस्ट बट यू डोंट सी द आईज यू डोंट सी प्राणास एंड सटनली यू डोंट सी मन see the vicharas yourself but not that this and ignorance is subtler than them so how do you know there is ignorance <laughs> you should not be able to know the answer is agnana karyam the effect of ignorance is so vivid since it is vivid therefore we say there must be agnana karyam is there that reflects there is ignorance and what is agnana karyam the whole paragraph that we will see tomorrow <laughs> be ready okay so i am going to be productive now <laughs> this is all bhasha is like that so it's all abstract so much things so be ready <laughs> from tomorrow today itself was little difficult later part but this is how it is 
and this love we grow, buddhi becomes sukshma, very subtle. That's how you see the truth and that's how you see your habitual error also. When buddhi becomes subtle, you can do nididhyasana also. So it is necessary to study. Om Purnamadhaf Purnamidham Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadhaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha Harihi Om Just 15-20 minutes break and then we listen for questions.